Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I share how to make this party style assorted meat pepper soup. So keep watching if you want to see how I make this. So for the protein, I'm going to use some beef liver and beef heart. I'm going to list everything I'm using as well in the description box area. Over here, I have some goat meat. I love to use the ones that have the skin on. Here, I have goat meat tribe. You guys, goat meat tribe is my absolute favorite for goat meat pepper soup or assorted pepper soup. So of course, I'm going to add it. And then over here, I have some cow tribe. All the meats have been cleaned already. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them now into bite sizes. So this is a soft reminder for you to please click the like button. I have noticed that the like button is always an issue. Why? Why? It's always an issue. Please always click the like button. It helps out my videos a whole lot. And please subscribe if you haven't already and turn your post notification bell on. We just hit 100,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> thank you all so much. I truly, truly appreciate all the love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So with the goat meat tribe, what I did was I washed it with salt and hot water and then went in with knife to scrape that rough area. See, I really like that rough area. I only wash it very well to make sure that there is no dirt in it because I love to feel the roughness when I'm eating the shaki. The reason why I prefer um, goat meat shaki here abroad to the cow shaki we buy here is because that cow one is already very processed. In fact, it is pure white and it is not as tasty as the one we buy in Nigeria. But the goat meat shaki is usually very tasty. You just have to clean it extra. So once I'm done with that, I'll slice the liver and the heart and then set everything aside. So I'm about to start cooking now. I have been soaking the goat meat shaki in lemon water for a while now. It's going to help remove some of those odor that comes with the um, goat meat shaki. So now I'm going to transfer that into the pot. Next, I'll add water, cover and bring to a rolling boil. In another pot, I'm going to parboil the beef liver as well. So once this comes to a boil, I'm going to pour out this water and then rinse it out with cold water. This will also help to further clean it. So now in a pot, I'm going to add the goat meat, the rinsed goat meat tribe and the cow tribe. For the pepper soup spice, I have some calabash nutmeg. I recently asked those market women what the correct spice for pepper soup is and they said only this ehu seed can give you an amazing pepper soup. I have tried it a couple of times and it was a banger. But today I'm going to add some ginger, some red bell pepper for color, some scotch bonnet pepper, some onions and I like to add some uziza seed because of the goat meat tribe. Try this combo and you will testify. It was so good. So I'm going to pour them in a blender now and blend until it is smooth. Once that is smooth, I'll pour it into the meat now, add some salt, some seasoning cubes and then stir so it can cook for like 20 minutes without adding water. From experience, I have noticed that pepper soup gets salty really quick. So when you are seasoning it, you don't want to add a lot. Trust me, all I needed was this seasoning cube and salt for this whole pot of pepper soup and it was perfect. So add a little at a time. You also want those traditional spices like the calabash nutmeg and uziza seed to shine through. So yes, don't kill it with too much seasoning.
So at this point, I check on the beef liver and you can see all these things that floated to the top, which was the reason why I parboiled this liver. So now I'm going to drain, rinse and set it aside. 20 minutes later, I check on the meat and you can see it has rendered a lot of juice. But then the water in this pot cannot cook this meat because this meat is nowhere close to done at this point. So I'm going to add a bit of water. I was tasting to make sure the seasoning was okay and it was just right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of water and then cover it so you can continue cooking for another 20 minutes. So it's been cooking for a total of 40 minutes now. The meat is almost done. So now I'm going to add the parboiled liver and the heart and then stir it in and let it cook for another 10-15 minutes. So 10 minutes later, I come back, give it a good mix and everything is cooked at this point. You guys, the aroma in my kitchen at this point was just, what's that word again? Nose blinding. Yes, so good. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a good mix and then I tasted as well. The seasoning was still just perfect. I did not need to adjust for anything. Finally, I like to add some crayfish, just about a tablespoon or two, you know, just to have a hint of that and that's it. Then I go in with some chopped parsley and some chopped red bell pepper for color. My preferred vegetable would be scent leaf or basil, but I didn't have any of that at home. So I used parsley, which was perfect. It does not have a very strong um, taste. Yeah. So I'm going to add that in and then stir everything to combine properly. Let it simmer for about a minute or two before taking it off the heat and our pepper soup is ready and look at how good it looks you can tell it tasted just as good if not better try out those pepper soup spice combination that i used for this recipe and then leave me a comment to let me know how well it went send me pictures on instagram at the joyful cook if you do try out this recipe don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't too okay and please click the like button so i serve this with some agidi <laughs> you guys have you had this combo yet this is the real deal try out this combo and your life will not remain the same <laughs> for good though okay so yeah i'm going to serve and enjoy and this is it for this video this is our 100k meal so everybody bring your spoon and dig in thank you guys so much for watching please 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 click the like button thank you all see you in my next video bye bye